Everyone's talking about inflation. You know what's not feeling inflation? Equal play for black actresses. <laughs> Taraji for standing up for all of us. Queen Latifah and Taraji P. Henson are stepping up their game in the equal pay battle, and it's not their first rodeo. They've definitely let the world know about it. Taraji got a shout out because she's been on this journey for a bit now. I mean, women are paid less, period. It's nothing different than what happens in the world. Women tend to be paid less than their male counterparts. But it's not only her. Queen Latifah is right there with Taraji nodding along. Funny enough, the very person Latifah's agreeing with is Taraji herself, who's been the heart of their crusade all this time. Well, if they were handpicked for that movie, those women should have been taken care of from the moment go. Right. If you've been keeping an eye on this news lately, you notice all the buzz about pay gaps in Hollywood. Now, you might think this is a new topic, but no, it's been a hot issue for years. The twist in the tale? Back in the day, this fight was mainly against the big shot guys running the showbiz. But now, it looks like the spotlight's on a certain black lady causing trouble for other actresses. And guess what? Queen Latifah and Taraji P. Henson are totally over it. To show they mean business, they've taken their protest to one of the glitziest platforms out there, calling out the lady right in the heart of it all. I haven't dropped her name yet, but here's a hint. She's the big boss of a super popular TV show and the host. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm talking about the one and only mega influencer, Oprah Winfrey. Considering her own battles with cold shoulders and discrimination, you'd think she'd steer clear from such cases, right? But wait, it gets juicier. Diving into these dramas is just the start of our famous TV hostess. A word on the street is, she's not just involved, she might have even made sure other black actresses ended up with smaller paychecks and gigs she had nothing to do with. For stars like Queen Latifah and Henson, this hits harder than any other hurdle they've jumped over. You'd think being in showbiz together and sharing similar battles would make them allies, but no. Turns out it's a backstabbing saga instead, and that's probably what fired them up to bring their fight right to Hollywood's front door. Let me tell you, this move sparked a wildfire. Fans, celebs, pretty much everyone connected to the entertainment world somehow has come out swinging in support of the two. And as people started peeling layers off this drama aiming to spotlight Winfrey, they've stumbled upon even shadier tales of her sidelining black actresses on purpose. Now, thanks to Queen Latifah and Henson, Winfrey might just be facing an army, not just of fans, but of the entire entertainment community. And trust me, the way these ladies have spotlighted her, it's a scene you've got to see to believe. I urge you all to speak your truth, because at the end of the day, that's all we have. And like they say, the truth will set you free. Hanging around the movie biz for years pretty much guarantees people will hang on your every word, thanks to all that experience. And that's exactly what Taraji P. Henson and Queen Latifah banked on to spill the tea who their not-so-favorite TV hostess might actually be. But they didn't just blurt it out. From what's been said at this year's awards, the duo cleverly used their spotlight to highlight Hollywood's pay gap issue. Kicking things off, Queen Latifah got real about the tough times Americans are facing, like inflation, which led Taraji P. Henson to point out how black actresses are still getting shortchanged. Henson, who snagged an award for her unforgettable role as Shug Avery in 2023's The Color Purple, gave a heart-wrenching speech that not only celebrated her win, but also called out the unfair pay practices, making everyone sit up and listen. Everyone's talking about inflation. You know what's not feeling inflation? Equal play for black actresses. Latifah chimed in with a heartfelt thank you to Raji G for standing up for all of us. Not long after, Henson was spotlight to grab the award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture for The Color Purple. During her thank you speech, she didn't miss the chance to shout out those who had her back during the movie's press tour, especially when she first highlighted Hollywood's unfair pay scales. The twist? In the Color Purple, the very movie she was touring for, which stirred this pay inequality convo, was produced by Winfrey. That little detail made it obvious who the actresses were hinting at. Because really, what are the chances it's someone else? But hey, if you're not able to bet on odds, there's still a pretty solid paper trail, as Henson pointed out. She's been vocal about the pay gap issue before, but bringing it 
up during the Color Purple press tour, a project under the helm of the talked about TV host just added more weight to their cause. I've been getting paid, and I've been fighting tooth and nail every project to get that same freaking quote. And it's a slap in the face when people go, oh girl, you work all the time. You always work well, God damn it, I have to. It's not because I wish I could do two movies a year, and that's that. I have to work because the math ain't mathin', and I have bills. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. This really hints that she must have had a pretty tough time during filming. It didn't take long for fans to figure out who she was hinting at. Many believed that Henson's decision to bring up pay disparities during the movie's promo was a direct jab at the producers, Winfrey in particular. And then things got even more heated. TikTok users started analyzing two videos from a press conference for the film. They noticed something off about Henson and Winfrey, as they seemed to be on bad terms, with Henson looking noticeably uneasy around her producer. Diving deeper into their body language, fans picked up on the reason. We're going to go over your body language. Let's look at Oprah. You see how she looked at Taraji and quickly looks away. And now look at Taraji. Look at her legs. She locks it away from Oprah. The TikToker shared some insights that really resonated with people, adding more layers to the conversation. Something definitely happened here. And now look at how Oprah has her arms. And her hand, you know, Oprah don't touch people like that. And then you see how loud they're singing. It turns out Henson had more to share about her experiences on set. In a recent chat with the New York Times, she revealed that the cast of The Color Purple enjoyed certain perks because she had pushed for them off camera. One such perk was about transportation and security to the film set in Atlanta. Initially, the production team had handed out rental cars, expecting the actors to make their own way to the set. Henson wasn't having any of it. She expressed her concern, saying, They gave us rental cars, and I was like, I can't drive myself to set in Atlanta. This is an insurance liability. It's dangerous. And now they're robbing people. What do I look like driving myself to work by myself in a rental car? Henson said, So I was like, Can I get a driver or security to take me? I'm not asking for the moon. They're like, Well, if we do it for you, we got to do it for everybody. Well, do it for everybody. It's stuff like that that I shouldn't have to fight for. I was on the set of Empire fighting for trailers that weren't infested with bugs. Besides the transportation issues, the cast faced quite a few challenges on set. At a recent Q&A for the movie, hosted by Danielle Brooks, she shed some light on the initial lack of amenities for the actors. They didn't have individual dressing rooms during rehearsals, nor was food provided. Brooks shared, I remember when we first came and were doing rehearsals. They put us all in the same space. We didn't have our own dressing rooms at the time. This was my first studio film. Sometimes you do come in saying, okay, I'll take whatever they give me. I'm just happy to be here. But Taraji spoke up for us. You showed me how to do that. Just as Taraji has been a vocal advocate for her fellow actresses, Queen Latifah has been championing the same causes since as early as 2017. I mean, women are paid less, period. It's nothing different than what happens in the world. Women tend to be paid less than their male counterparts. In chat with Essence, the rapper turned actress opened up about the long-standing issues of pay disparities in Hollywood, pointing out that it's been a problem for way longer than most think. She explained, there's nothing different than what happens in the world, women getting paid less than their male counterparts. She didn't stop there, though. She elaborated that it's not just a matter of women versus men. Specifically, black women are often the ones getting shortchanged. Her strategy for tackling this has involved herself and other high-profile actors asking for much more than what's typically offered for roles. Beyond just pushing for better pay, she highlighted the importance of owning the content that's being produced as a key step toward making the desired change a reality. Do you think they made the right call to speak up against these differences? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.